Hi everybody, it's Missy and Greg here. We just wanted to make a quick video and say hello to all of you and say that we're here five years later, still working on marriage and still trusting God and He's good and we're praying for you guys. Yeah, praying for you guys to just want you to know that, that it's actually been nearly six years, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Andrew just had his, his uh, fifth birthday. Oh yeah, so, so it's six years. It's nearly, <laughs> nearly six years now because Missy doesn't do math well, but we're still here and, and want you guys to hang in there. Have a great day and enjoy the season ahead. Um, and remember that all things work together for those who love the Lord and that you can trust him. And he says, you don't have to be ashamed or to be worried that you can put your trust in him all the way. And so we believe that and we know that's true and we pray that for you today in Jesus name. Amen. Everyone, my name is Morgan and I'm here because I am truly blessed that I get to share a marriage restoration testimony with you. I always read about the testimonies on Charlene Care's website and I said one day this is going to be me. And I am so grateful that I get to share my testimony with you. And one day, if you truly place all of your hope and trust in God, you will be doing the same exact thing as I am doing now, if it is in God's will. So I just wanted to share my quick story with you. So my husband just completely blindsided me and left. Um, granted, I think it was a work of God because God needed me to grow closer to him. I'm not saying that, but I just feel that um, I needed some one-on-one -on -one time with God. And I am so grateful for um, that opportunity. So anyway, so we were separated for seven months. Uh, no talk, no communication. And in those months, my relationship with God took like a 180. I started going to church. Um, not that I was, I went to Catholic school, so I was always, you know, grew up in religion. But um, this was the first time I took ownership in it. I uh, bought my own Bible. I was highlighting, reading passages. I think I read every single page on Charlene Carrot's website. Um, have a had a battle plan binder, prayed, prayed um, lines of scripture and personal prayers, morning, night, afternoon in my prayer closet while watching War Room for probably the hundredth time. Um, journal through three of these. I mean, every single page was filled. But it was through that that I got to learn about God. Um, and then I got to develop that personal relationship with him in which I never knew, but I began craving. Um, so now I just continue, even though Joey's home, that's not absent. This is still very much a part of my life. And um, anyway, Joey's home. He's been home since... August and it is now February. Uh, we get along exceptionally well. Not that we never did, but um, it was always seen. It, our marriage was very kind of strained. Marriage is marriage is hard and it's stressful, especially when you're newlyweds. Some have it easy, some have it hard. We didn't have it very easy, um, but now it's very different. We don't take things for granted, and we realize that. There are problems in life, but if we work together, um, you will prevail together. Um, all I can say to you is please, please, please never lose hope. Give all your trust and your faith to God and try not to control or place a time limit on um, your restoration. Just give it to God. It will be in his time. And I promise you, God will fill you with the hope and the strength that you need to prevail. God bless you. I love you. And I wish you all my best. God bless.